Hello everybody, it's Wendy, and today we're going to make a necklace using products from the curated bead box, and I've got some earring stuff here too today, but I'm not sure we're going to get to that, but we might, um, from the curated bead box March 2022 edition. Okay, so this is really cute, this necklace, I think I'm going to like it. Um, first, our encouraging word for today is create your own sunshine. So I heard a saying one time that said something similar to my attitude is dependent upon the way that you treat me. And I thought, man, that's really putting yourself at other people's mercy. <laughs> um, don't let your attitude be dependent on how anybody treats you. Your attitude comes from you. you. You're responsible for your own attitude. So create your own sunshine. And even when things don't go right in life, and they often don't, um, you'll still be a happier person if you realize that you're responsible for your own attitude. Nobody else is. All right, so here we have it. Curated bead box. We're going to be using, now I don't know if we'll get to the earrings, we may, but for the necklace, we're going to be using three of these beautiful Lampwork glass beads. We're going to be using four of the little periwinkle colored ones and two of the larger periwinkle colored ones. We're going to be using two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, can't be 13, must be 14, I think. Surely it wouldn't be 13. Oh yes, it is 13 because of the dangle. I'm sorry, 13 <laughs> of these galaxy beads. <laughs> we are going to be using several little jump rings. These are just little four millimeter jump rings. I've got some four millimeter silver spacers out here. I have two of the seashell charms and the two conch shell beads. This is a length of chain that I got from, I actually got this chain from Joann's. You can use any chain that you have. I just liked it because of the circles. I thought it looked kind of nautical. Um, I have got some little six millimeter um, bead caps here. A large, little bit larger lobster claw. I'd say he's like 16 millimeter. And then I have another little length of the chain for the um, extender on the end of the necklace. I've got some eye pins. You may need a couple of head pins, too. Um, I have them here as well. They're just not pulled out of my drawer yet. Here they are. So I've got some head pins, some eye pins. Um, and if we do, if we get to the earrings, you're going to need the other two Lampwork glass beads, two more galaxy beads, two more of the small periwinkle, two seashells, and two ear wires, which I haven't pulled out yet and probably some eye pins or head pins. And then I've got some chain here. Now this is just a, um, it's kind of like a fancy curb chain and I've got two lengths of it. I'm not sure how long I will want it to be um, when I get done with the necklace part that I'm going to be hanging it on, but um, we'll take a look here and see how long these are right now. Right now they are approximately 11 and a half inches. So we'll see, we may end up cutting them, okay? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm just gonna move some of these things out of my way so that I can focus a little bit here on these bigger beads. And we're going to be taking these, I'm going to lay this chain out. And like I said, if you don't have a large length chain like this, you can use any chain that you have. It doesn't really matter. Um, as long as you can dangle these from it, but I did get this at Joann's and I think they have it pretty much all the time All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some head pins three head pins to be exact and I'm going to um, Make little dangles out of these and I'm going to use I'm going to use one of the periwinkle beads on the bottom Okay, and then one of my big lamp work beads and then one of the small spacers, the four millimeter spacers on the top. Okay, just like that. And I'm just going to make a loop. And I'm not doing wrapped loops or anything. I'm just doing a regular, regular old loop. Just bend that 90 degrees. Cut your wire off. And then roll back a regular loop. The pliers I'm using are Zeron. I get them on Amazon. Somebody always asks, so I just am telling you. <laughs> X-U-R-O-N, Zeron. There they are. Okay, so there's one. We're going to do that with all three of these. Exactly the same. Lamp work bead. Four millimeter spacer. Just like this. OK, 
Okay, one more. Periwinkle bead. Lamp work bead. Four millimeter spacer. These lamp work beads are so pretty. They do really remind me of ocean waves. Um, Curated Bead Box is also having a contest this month. I'll go ahead and tell you about that. Um, if you want to enter pictures of your creations that you've made with this box, um, I will put the information below where you need to enter it to. But um, they're going to choose 10 people um, to win, and you will get eight strands of beads and um, a findings pack. So that's really nice. All right, so I'm just I just made sure that these kind of match. Like I feel like these two kind of go on the outside more, and this one goes on the inside, just because they're not exactly the same. So I'm just kind of balancing that out. Okay, now we're gonna take our little conch shell beads and our little seashells, and we're going to make dangles for the conch shell beads. The seashells we're just gonna hang right on these loops. So take your um, head pin again. I'm just doing a regular, I'm not putting anything on with this conch shell bead. I'm just going to do it just like this, but I am going to do a wrapped loop on this one. So I'm bending it 90 degrees. I'm going to come up and over, rotate my pliers up, go all the way around just like that. And then I'm just going to take this and grab it and wrap. And it doesn't have to be neat at all. In fact, with nautical stuff, I think it's kind of nicer to have it look messy. That is thick wire on that jump ring, right? Or on that um, head pin. <laughs> so rotate it around. And if your loop gets out of shape, just stick your round nose plier back in there. Straighten him up. He will straighten up. And I'm going to trim this little bit and make sure there's nothing sticking out. It is a little bit, so I'm going to tuck it. Okay, just like that. And there we have a little dangle for the conch shell bead. And I'm going to do the other one the same way. That seems like thinner. Let me get a thicker one because I kind of want them to match. Yeah, that's better. Okay. 90 degrees. I made my loop a little bigger on that last one than I really would have wanted it to be, but I'll try to match it the same way with this one. That's pretty close. And then we're just going to wrap. Okay, take it around. Just go ahead and you can trim him and then tuck him. All right, just like that. Straighten that loop up a little bit. And my little loop, little wrap got a little messy there. That's okay, but I'm gonna, there, that's better. Okay, so there we have our two little conch shell beads. And these two and these. Okay, actually, I'm going to hang those from here, I think. And this one. Let's see if I can. There we go. Those loops are kind of different. I may redo this one. I don't really like this. This loop is so big. Let me redo this one a little bit. Sorry, guys. I just don't like that. That's going to bug me. <laughs> OCD. Which is a good thing sometimes when you're making jewelry because it makes you really pay attention to the details. Yeah, that loop was just too big. This will be better. That is better. Go around a couple of times. And trim it. And tuck it. Okay. 
that's better. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to just hang these on. Now these two, we obviously will have to hang on with jump rings and these two. These we could just open and hang right on, but I think I'll just probably go ahead and do a couple jump rings on them too, just because why not? All right, let me grab another pair of pliers instead of using my round nose pliers to try to be chain nose pliers. That's not real good. Don't do what I'm doing. Okay, and I'm just going to hook these on, starting at this one. Now, I am skipping this first, um, this first little ring. I'm skipping it. I'm just um, not going to hang anything from it. We're going to hook our our beads on here in a minute. Okay, let's go ahead with this guy. And these are kind of going to flip and flop and rotate around, and that is fine. I don't mind that at all. Just make sure that your loops are closed here so that they don't come out. Okay. Next little shell. Right here. So if y'all can hear Chris outside with, I mean, you can probably hear the power tools going. <laughs> we built a deck this past summer and put to put at the end of our pool. And we did not build rails on it because we don't have any small children and we're never going to have any small children around here, at least not for a long time. And we don't get drunk enough to fall off of anything. So... Um, we just didn't put rails around the deck. Well, <laughs> when they came to inspect and do the appraisal and stuff because we're selling the house, they were like, oh my God, they were totally freaked out because we did not have rails on this deck. So Chris is having to enclose the whole thing now <laughs> with rail, uh, handrails and stuff. So that's what he's out there doing right at this moment. <laughs> he is really wanting to get it done. But yeah. The inspector, he was like so offended. And I'm like, look, we don't have any small children. We're not going to be out there drinking and falling into the pool. I mean, you know, <laughs> we don't need rails. The next person may, so we will add them. <laughs> but yeah, oh, it was funny. <laughs> so Chris is out there doing that at this very moment. He is trying to finish up the deck and then I'm going to paint it. Cue the power saw. <laughs> If you heard it, if you can hear it. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not, but it just started right up. <laughs> okay, now we're going to attach the other conch shell bead on right up here. And voila, we have a little charm sort of section. Just like this. Oh, it's too cute. Those are so pretty. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my head pins. And I want to put three galaxy beads on okay just like this and then let's see how do I want to do this I may do a four millimeter spacer and three galaxy beads one two three so that looks good okay so I'm just going to make a loop I wonder if I have any smaller let me see if I have any shorter head pins I kind of hate to use the big long one for that um, hmm. They all appear to be big and long. It seems like I never have any big long ones when I'm looking for them. And now that I would like a shorter one, they're all big long ones. Here's one. <laughs> okay, let's try this. All right, so shorter or little spacer bead. Little big. Three galaxy beads. One, two, three. And another four millimeter spacer. There we go. Yeah, that's cute. Okay, so I'm going to take this and just make a regular loop. Not a wrapped loop on this one because the other end's not wrapped. So I don't want to... Just one end. That would be kind of weird. I guess you could do that. I don't know. I don't want to, though. Okay, so there's that. We're going to do the same thing for the other side. There's a smaller one. Oh, that's a head pin. Okay, here we go. Same thing on the other side. Four millimeter spacer, three galaxies, 
and a four millimeter spacer. Make your loop. Okay. Roll it back. There we go. So there's that and that. Now we're going to use a head pin in the middle here. Or an eye pin, I'm sorry, not a head pin. Not a head pin. And we're going to do a bead cap, this bigger guy, and another bead cap. Just like that, we're just going to make a link. Just like we've been doing. Okay, roll this back. And again, same thing, find another shorter head pin, bead cap, bigger guy, and bead cap. Make a loop. Okay, just like this. All right, now we're going to do the same thing we did here. We're going to do a spacer bead, four millimeter spacer, three galaxy beads, and another spacer. Okay, same exact link as we did before. It's the funniest thing, when I opened this box, I loved all the colors together, the greens and the blues, but then I tend to do so much monochromatic stuff. <laughs> so, like this, I'm just thinking, I really need to mix those greens in with this, but when I did, I didn't really like the way it looked. So, I don't know, I guess I need to branch out of my little safe box here or something, but I just thought these looked pretty together. And so that's what I'm doing. Staying very monochromatic in my life, <laughs> apparently. Okay, last one here. Okay, now what we're going to do with these is we are going to hook them all together. Okay, so we're just going to take this one, hook it directly onto this ring. like that make sure it's closed up good when you close it back and that your little spacer bead can't get down in there okay same thing on the other side and one key tip I think is to leave your necklace laying on the table while you do this if you can because it's going to make it when you link it back up it's going to make it lay correctly and not be twisted around. And I'm having trouble getting this one closed back for some reason. Come on now. There we go. Okay, so just like this, just, you know, kind of keep it laying there flat like it needs to be. So we're just going to hook all these together. I'm going to put this one on next. Close it up, and then this one. Sadie's here, and there's kids outside playing. She's gonna bark at them. It's okay, Sadie. It's just kids. You don't have to bark at the children. Okay. All right, and same thing on this side. We're just hooking these all together. And one more. Last one. Okay, now what we're going to do is we are going to take our chain and we're going to finish it. But what you need to do is kind of hold this up on yourself and decide how long you want your chain to be. Okay? Um, 
let me have a piece of it. Here's a piece of it. So this piece is 11 and a half inches. I think I'm probably just going to fold it in half because let's see. So if 11 and a half, so this would be five inches or six, no, five. Um, okay, so about five and a half, yeah, five and a half inches. So from the top all the way down to the point here is 12 inches. So this necklace, if I fold this in half and cut it, will be right at around 24 inches. And that's pretty much where I like all of my just normal necklaces. By normal, I mean not a tassel, um, you know, just a regular old necklace. This is pretty much how I like it to hang. So I'm just going to take this piece of chain here. And I'm going to cut it, and it's about five and a half inches then. Just cut it in the middle. Okay. And then I'm just going to go ahead and hook it right on here. And we'll I'll hold it up here in a minute, and we'll see. Okay. Just close this up real good. So your chain doesn't slip out. Okay, so there's one. Let's do the other one here. Okay. So there we have it. All right, let me hold it up on myself. Yep, that is pretty perfect. That's about how I like. So 24 inches total. So you got 12 on each side. And now I'm just going to take this. Um, extender piece. I'm going to hook it on with my jump ring. And obviously, if I'm keeping this, I won't really need the extender, but it doesn't hurt to have it on there. Um, you know, it kind of gives a decoration. I need another jump ring. There it is. Um, so yeah, it's kind of nice. Okay, now I'm going to hook my lobster on with this other jump ring. And then I'm going to make a little dangle to go on the end of this extender. Okay, so I'm just going to take a head pin. I'm going to do a four millimeter spacer, galaxy bead, periwinkle bead, and another four millimeter spacer, just like that. I'm going to make a wrapped loop. I'm going to go 90 degrees. I'm going to go up and over, rotate this up and come around, but don't close my loop. Just going to go ahead and stick it right on here. Okay, then I'm going to grab it with my pliers right here at the cross, the crisscross. And then I'm going to take my other plier and just go ahead and wrap it. Grab it there. It's kind of yeah, I don't have it grabbed real good. There we go. Okay. And come on around. And you don't have to wrap very many times on this. I just want to I just want to wrap a couple times because it's a dangle. I'm going to be hanging down. I don't know. I just feel like it's a little more secure. I'm having trouble. Okay. It's around a couple times. It's not going anywhere. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut it. Cut and tuck. And there we have it. So, here's our necklace. Oh, it's cute. Yeah, it turns out real cute. Um, so I'll put it on a form here in a minute, but let's go ahead and do these earrings because they're super quick and simple. They literally are nothing, hardly. They're just super quick and simple. And I just dropped the... Oh, here it is. Okay. So what we're going to do with them is you need a couple fish hook ear wires or whatever ear, ear wires you want to use. These are dangles. Um, I'm probably just going to use fish hooks because that's what I've got here. Most of the rest of my everything is packed. So what we're going to do is we're going to take an eye pin, and you can use one of the longer ones for this, okay? And I am going to do, let's see, I'm going to do a spacer bead, my periwinkle bead, this guy, and a galaxy bead. Actually, I'm going to take my 
bead caps and do my galaxy bead like this. Okay, yeah, just like that. Now these are super simple. You can do, I mean, I'm not going to make a wrap loop after all because I don't have enough wire. Um, you can do whatever you want. You can, you know, you can make them more. You can make them shorter. You can make them longer. You can do whatever. But this is how I'm doing them. Just make your loop there. Going to open this right up. And put my little seashell right on. Just like this. Super cute. Going to make sure my fish hook's facing the right way. And my, um, so my little seashell's hanging this way. So I clear, I need this one to go the other way. So I'm just going to hold the seashell the way it should go and turn the other one. Just like that. Okay, and when you turn it around, did it turn? It should have. <laughs> I can't tell. <laughs> well, let's try it. Okay, so then, you know, it should turn around the way you want it to go. It doesn't really matter. The seashell in here is um, double-sided, so it doesn't matter which way it hangs. I just want it to hang. <laughs> just want it to hang front to back, no, and not sideways. So let's do this again. There we go. All right, and there it is. There's our simple little earring. So quick and easy. Um, this one is, I think it turns out really cute. All right, where's my other, oh, there's my other galaxy bead. Okay, galaxy bead, bead cap. Same thing as before, just make a loop. If I had a longer eye pin, I would have done a wrap loop, which would have been cute, but probably do have a longer eye pin somewhere, but it's probably packed. <laughs> Everything is packed right now. I've packed up all my personal stuff. The store's not packed because I'm trying to like liquidate it. So again, 20% off coupon on my entire store. Big sale 20. You got to put the coupon code in at, at checkout, but it's big sale 20. And um, yeah, it's 20% off the entire store. I just don't want to move it. You know, I want to liquidate it and then repurchase or restock when I get down in Florida. That'll give me a chance to make sure all my stock is correct and, you know, just kind of start from scratch. Restock items that I really like. Okay, so there we go. So there they are, guys, the little earrings and the necklace. And I am going to put them up here. Whoops, got some wire grabbing onto there. I'm going to put them up here on a form so you can see them. I will be right back. All right, so here they are, necklace and earrings get farther out. Turned out super cute, I think. Yeah, there they are in focus. Um, so I really like them. I hope you guys enjoyed them. If you did, um, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. It's free to subscribe and ring the little bell so you get notifications whenever I upload. I will put all the information for my website, for curated bead box, everything in the description box below this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!